Hello, and today, wasn't it obvious what I'm doing? <laughs> I have a, a Sega CD and a 32X in the background. I have Atari with ColecoVision and television controllers on it, and there's the Intellivision too. So, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am doing a video, a multi-part video, on which is the best console of all time. I would be going through generation, through generation, looking at all the consoles and finding out which is the best. So, first I will be doing, well, the second generation. Because the first generation was just a whole bunch of Pong consoles and the Magnavox Odyssey 1. So, man, I forgot to get out my Magnavox Odyssey 2 for this video, but... It is far back there, but I will still compare it. So, first off, I want to start by looking at the controllers. I do not... Oh, here's my Atari controller. Alright, I've got it. Now, as you may know, I actually like these controllers better than the Atari controller. But, out of all of these, and the Magnavox controller... The Magnavox Odyssey controller wins. It's actually not as stiff as this, and a lot better than these controllers. So, I will go look at that. So, this is the Magnavox Odyssey controller. As you can see, it's very easy to use. It's not stiff whatsoever, and it centers itself very nicely. It does have one action button. It's just like a better version of the Atari controller. So, that is the Magnavox Odyssey controller. The next thing I want to talk about is console design. So, I'm going to show this one first since I'm actually already here. So, looking at the Magnavox Odyssey, this game's going right there. Has power, power right there, and it even says Odyssey 2 microprocessor. So this is actually a really nice console. And it even has a keyboard, which has a whole array of things. First of all, it has all the letters, question mark, and a dot, and the space bar. This is actually a very responsive keyboard. Just wiping it off. And it's really nice. I like it a lot. So next, I will look at the other consoles and how their design looks. Alright, I'm back. And I'm trying to get the camera just right. So, now I am looking at these consoles. I do not have a ColecoVision with me, but let me tell you, it's actually really nice. Where the cartridge goes in, there's a metal door which keeps out dust and is really nice because it's metal. And the controllers nestle within it, so that's really nice. Now, to the ones I have with me. The Atari has a simple on and off switch. TV type, color to black and white. Left difficulty A or B. Right difficulty A or B. Game select and game reset. Now this, it has power and reset. And you actually have to hold it down to turn it off, which is actually really annoying because it takes a long time. You have two controllers which nestle themselves inside of the console and have nice telephone wires. And the original ColecoVision controllers actually do have telephone wires. Now my ColecoVision controller is from the ColecoVision flash bag, and so is this Intellivision controller. So that's why these... Uh, don't have uh, a, um, a telephone wire, but the original one would have a telephone wire, which I think is really neat. So, based on the looks of the console, um, well, these do nestle themselves within the console, and the ColecoVision has a nice metal door. I'd say the Atari, I don't, I think it's out of the picture, and I'd have to say Magnavox Odyssey 2 wins. I mean, because it, it's just great. <laughs> it has a keyboard built into it. So next, let's look at games. Alright, I'm back, and I have the games. 
and I'll tell you, of course, the most, uh, the game, the system that has the most amount of games is the Atari. And the one with the least amount of games probably is the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Even though it has this to c prevent, prevent from that circuit board and getting scratched, the Atari can do the same thing. Well, that's actually not a good example, but some of them can. So this probably has the least amount of games, and even though it does have some good games, it probably loses because it doesn't have nearly as many as some of these other ones do. So, Atari. It may have a lot of good games, but it does have a lot of bad games. I feel like the few games that are on these other two systems are actually fairly decent. And are also, well, they're all a whole lot cheap. ColecoVision's probably the most expensive. So ColecoVision probably doesn't win just because the sheer price of some of its games. Now, in television versus Atari games. Atari probably has more games, but it, it just can't compete with graphics. And television has so many more graphics, and if you get it in the box, it's a door. If I can open this up with one hand. It's like a door. Let me show you. Hmm, it's like I'm reading a book. You don't know what I'm reading the instructions. It's just like a book. Isn't that great? It's like a book. <laughs> the air boxes, you had to rip open the cardboard, but this, you just open up. It's inviting you to read. So, back to the game reviews. Alright, I'm back. Oh, whoops. I'm shaking. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, and I know that's going to be really hard trying to edit. It really is. So, superior graphics, and it has a voice synthesis module. You might not know this, but the Odyssey 2 has one too. But, I know, voice synthesis module is actually pretty nice. So I'd have to say Intellivision wins this round. So it's looking like the ColecoVision and the Atari aren't going to get very far, but I'll have to think of some other things I can compare the Intellivision versus the Odyssey 2 with. I have actually just realized that the Intellivision, I believe it's only the first one, has an add-on for a keyboard. So that would almost make it even with the Odyssey 2, because it actually has a keyboard add-on you can buy. But, I would have to say, the Intellivision versus the Odyssey 2, the Intellivision wins, because it's m a lot more common, I think. I've seen a lot more of these than I have Odyssey 2s. And then, I don't know, I just, I kind of like it more. Also, its voice thing is so much easier to find. I have actually never seen a, uh, a Odyssey 2 voice thing. The voice thing. I, I've seen it once. I saw it in the box. In the box for like 150 bucks, but I didn't get it. So, it does exist, the voice synthesis module, but it's actually really rare. So, with these games being cheaper... And better graphics, a controller that's not as good, but really nice. It being a, a nice styling console. And, you know, just better graphics. Easier to get games, cheaper games. And a voice synthesis module that's actually really easy to get. I would have to say that the Intellivision wins. Because Intellivision always wins. And soon, I will be looking at the third generation, and television will be there too, to compete and fight for everything it has to fight for. And soon, by the end of this series, I will know what the best video game system in all of history is the best. So thank you for watching.